So guys, it looks like the trademark battle continues between the African National Congress and Jacob Zuma's Umkondo Wesizu. According to the African National Congress, this political party has basically stolen their intellectual property. The African National Congress accuses this new Umkondo Wesizu of stealing the name Umkondo Wesizu. They are going around crying all over the place saying that, guys, you know, even South Africans know, and especially the people who were there with us in apartheid, these people, they know that Umkondo Wesizu belongs to us. The African National Congress is fighting for the name. They are not only fighting for the name, they are fighting for the logo. They are even saying that, man, even this logo that has been used by Jacob Zuma's Umkonto Wesizwe, this logo is similar with the logo that belongs to ANC's MK. So these people have basically stolen our identity, and we are not going to allow this Jacob Zuma guy to steal our identity from us. The African National Congress did not stop there. They went further to accuse the IEC of unlawfully registering this political party. So according to the African National Congress, IEC was never supposed to register this political party. IEC was never supposed to register the people coming to them with the name of Umkonto Wesizu. African National Congress expected IEC to say that, man, you can, like guys, you can open a new political party, man. Everyone is welcome to open a, a new political party, but you are not going to open a political party with the name of Umkonto Wesizu. We are not going to allow that. So this is what the African National Congress basically expected from IEC. So I think as South Africans, we can get the gist right now. African National Congress does not want to compete with the Umkondo Wesizu in the upcoming elections. The African National Congress, they do not want to compete with Jacob Zuma in the upcoming elections. Because right now, I think in South Africa, we have heard of like 40 incidents right now. 40 reported incidents involving the members of ANC and Umkondo Wesizu. Guys, these people are about to kill each other. These people are about to kill each other. And literally, because recently there was a report that came out that one of members of Umkonto Wesizu was gunned down in, in, in KZN. And the members of MK did not hesitate to come out and say, guys, this is political intolerance. This is political intolerance and we are not going to stand for it. And we are not going to be threatened by it. So Umkonto Wesizu, the Jacob Zuma's Umkonto Wesizu is coming out swinging, saying that the Afghan National Congress disbanded Umkonto Wesizu. You guys let go of Umkonto Wesizu. You said that you wanted nothing to do with Umkonto Wesizu. So we are just picking up the pieces. And now that we have formed ourselves, you are saying, no, this whole thing belongs to us. So this is where the fight actually breaks out. Because the Jacob Zuma's Umkonto Wesizu can actually understand that the African National Congress does not want them on the ballots. This is what the ANC is basically pushing for. This is what they are pushing for. As much as they can say, yeah. We are fighting for the name, we are fighting for... But at the end of the day, the African National Congress is pushing for Umkonto Wesizu to be removed from the ballot. That's why they are saying that IEC unlawfully registered this political party. Guys, things are going to be bad. Things are going to be bad, man. And I feel sorry for the people of KZN. I feel sorry for the people of KZN to be caught in the middle between these political parties. The fact that right now, as we speak, a person has lost their lives, I know that no one can actually prove that the African National Congress had anything to do with that member of Umkondo Wesizu who have lost his life. Of course, no one can prove that at this moment. But I think because these political parties, they have so much political intolerance between each other, I think it is only fair to say that ah, something is suspect there. Something is suspect. So the African National Congress is dragging Umkondo Wesizu to the courts. They are dragging them to the courts. And Umkonto Wesizu and Jacob Zuma, they say that, man, you see these people, they want us to be removed from the ballot. So our members have to stand up and we are going to fight. We are going to fight. Umkonto Wesizu recently, when they, when they went to court with the African National Congress on Tuesday, because the court, the, the, the case has been postponed to the 27th of March, the African National, the, the Umkonto Wesizu says that if the courts in South Africa agree with the African National Congress, and to remove Umkonto Wesizu from the ballot paper, there is going to be civil war in South Africa. <laughs> Many people came out and said that, man, these people need to get the hell out. There is no way there is going to be civil war in South Africa. Guys, I'm going to warn you. I am going to warn you. You may not like Jacob Zuma. You may not like Umkonto Wesizu. But do not ever underestimate the support of Jacob Zuma. Do not ever underestimate the supporters of Jacob Zuma. So I think the 27th of March is going to tell us everything that we need to know. Because they are telling you that no one is going to vote. If the court decides to, 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 to take the side of the African National Congress, because this is how they see the courts. They are already saying that the mainstream media 
has been bought off by Ramaphosa and his friends. That's why you can hardly find positive articles about Umkondowesizwe. Despite the same mainstream media telling us that Umkondowesizwe is surging, Umkondowesizwe has beaten IFP and EFF on some parts. Despite the mainstream media saying that, these people are already gearing their people up and saying that, guys, they are going to, to they are going to try to remove us from the ballot. So you have to look at what the mainstream media is reporting about us. The mainstream media is bought off by Ramaphosa. They are also accusing the courts of, of being captured. They are saying these South African courts are being captured. And guys, if you are not aware, the courts are going to tell IEC to, re to deregister you. And that, way, that is when we are going to fight. That is when we are going to fight. I, see, like, I saw the responses from the people on the ground saying that, man, there is no way there is going to be civil war in South Africa. People are simply underestimating Jacob Zuma supporters. And guys, do not underestimate Jacob Zuma supporters. You remember what happened in 2021? You remember what happened in 2021? Jacob Zuma was thrown into jail because of contempt of court. This is not what they are telling their supporters. Jacob Zuma goes around and tells his supporters that, guys, these people have thrown me to jail without a trial. He's not telling his supporters that, man, I did not go to jail because of any crime that I, I was accused of. I went to jail because of contempt of court. I did not want to comply with the courts. This is the reason why these people have thrown me to the courts. So they are actually uh, capitalizing on the ignorance of their supporters. So right now they are telling you that <clears throat> I'm sorry, if the courts actually take the side of the African National Congress, there is going to be civil war. Guys, do not underestimate the supporters of Jacob Zoom. Do not underestimate the damage these people can do to South Africa. They are telling you that, guys, you remember what happened in 2021. If the courts decide with African National Congress, if the courts actually orders IEC to deregister us as a political party, what you saw in 2021 is going to look like kindergarten. You know we destroyed infrastructure in KZN and in Gauteng. It is going to look like kindergarten. So I think South Africans really need to be careful. South Africans really need to be careful. And I don't know how the courts are actually going to deal with this matter because the threats have already been issued. The threats have already been issued. They are telling you that, guys, we know that you are the courts. We know that you are applying the law, but you are not going to do that with us. If you dare apply the law and if you dare say that the African National Congress is correct with everything they are saying, there is going to be civil war in South Africa. There is going to be civil war in South Africa. So I think the people of this country, they need to brace themselves. Guys, brace yourselves. The 27th of March is coming. The court might decide with the African National Congress. The court might take the side of the African National Congress. And Um Kondowasizo is going to come out swinging. They are saying that there is not a single person in South Africa that is going to vote. No one is going to the polls if Um Kondowasizo is removed from the ballot. I don't take this threat lightly, guys. I honestly do not take this threat lightly. Because I remember what these people did in 2021. When Jacob Zuma was rightly put into jail, I remember what these people did. They destroyed KZN. They destroyed some parts of Houten. And if right now they believe that, if they, right now they feel like they are, they are, they are cornered, they're going to come out swinging. They're going to come out swinging. So guys, this is what Um Kondo said on Tuesday. Courts to stop MK. No. On the 5th of March, the case was supposed to I'm advising you to take this threat very seriously. I'm advising you to take this threat very seriously. Guys, you remember that a couple of months ago, Isma Khashoggi actually joined forces 
with Umkonto Wasizo. And you remember what Isma Khashule said. Isma Khashule said that we are joining forces with Umkonto Wasizo because we want to make sure that the election results are not rigged this time. Isma Khashule said that we are joining the forces with Umkonto Wasizo because there's, there's not going to be any rigging of the elections this time. So if the court actually <laughs> say the African National Congress is right, Jacob Zuma is going to instigate his people in KZN and in, 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 in Jobek. And guess what? Isma Khashulu will be here, making sure that the people in the first state are fighting the same battle. So these people, when they say that no one is actually going to, no one is going to vote, chances are no one is going to vote. No one is going to vote. I am not saying that the court must, must side with these people because these people are issuing out the threats. But I'm saying that South Africans, they need to take these threats very seriously. South Africans, they need to take these threats very seriously. Not so long ago, Jacob Zuma was all over the internet wishing, wishing Julius Malema a, a happy birthday message. You know, yeah, a happy birthday, my brother, and we, we need to come together. We need to, like, guys, chances are there are potential talks between the MK and the EFF. There are talks between the MK and the EFF. So this whole thing might actually get out of control this whole thing might actually get out of control so when they say that no one is going to go no one is going to the polls i believe them when they say that for some reason i believe them i believe them because last time when they issued the threats that the country is going to stand still when if jacob zuma is thrown to jail the country literally stands stood still when these people said that no one is actually going to to, to move the country actually stood still. Yeah, of course. Some people will say, yeah, it was only the part of 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 of, of, of KwaZulu Natal and some parts of Houting. But MK is actually big. MK, MK is actually getting big. Even here in the first state. The MK they have a lot of presence here in the first state. So I am just thinking, what is it going to happen if the courts actually if actually if the courts side with Afghan National Congress? If the court sides with Afghan National Congress, this new political party that is so popular right now in South Africa, can you just imagine if their members were given the orders, are uh, given the orders that, guys, it is time for us to cast chaos. It is time for us to fight because we are not going to allow these captured courts to side with Afghan National Congress. We are not going to allow these captured courts to actually say that Umkhonto Wesizwe does not belong to the, to the ballot papers. There is no way we are going to allow that. So it is time for us to fight. It is time for us to fight. These people, they did not name this political party Umkonto Wesizo by mistake. They did not name this political party Umkonto Wesizo by mistake. They could have named this political party with all the names. But they say that their political party is Umkonto Wesizo, the military arm of the African National Congress. They don't believe in democracy. The military, they don't care about the democracy. <laughs> Courts to stop MK. No. On the 5th of March, this case was supposed to be heard yes. in the High Court in Durban. Yes. They now postponed it to the 27th of March. And I have a message. Yes. I have a message to the ANC. Yeah. And to those that have been captured by the ANC. Yeah. And the information we give you today yeah. is what you're not going to read in the captured mainstream media yes. in this country. Yes. The mainstream media in this country have been a lie man that is a lie to say that the mainstream media has actually been bought by bought off by ramaphosa and his friends because if there was any truth to that mk will never be given a platform mk is always given a platform on the mainstream media the representatives of the mk they are all they are all over the place they are on television they are on radio they are on newspapers to say that the mainstream media has been bought off by ramaphosa and his friends he is just gaslighting his supporters he is just gaslighting his supporters and when 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 mk actually make strides somewhere the mainstream media reported the mainstream media reported just like how the mainstream media reported that in Pumalanga by elections mk actually beat ifp and the eff the mk the mainstream media reported that so there is no evidence basically to say that the mainstream media is against umkondo wasizu because if the mainstream media was against umkondo wasizu they were never going to give these people platform they was never going to give these people flat platform. They were going. They were only going to issue out negative articles about Umkhonto Wasizo. But that is not what is happening in South Africa because the mainstream media, <laughs> it's happy that ANZ and Umkhonto Wasizo they are eating each other off. They are happy about the drama that is happening between ANC and Umkhonto Wasizo. So there is no evidence to say that th there is no evidence to back up the claim that mainstream media is against Umkhonto Wasizo. There is no evidence for that. 
there's no evidence for that. Even the same man yesterday was on Newsroom Live. The same person who is talking right now yesterday, last night, was on Newsroom Live. So how is that mainstream media against Umkoto Wesizo when the same people are still being given the platform? The same person who went out and said that if the court decides with Afghan National Congress there is going to be civil war in South Africa. If the same person can still be given a platform on a mainstream media and he still has the audacity to go out and say that the mainstream has been bought off by Ramaphosa and his friends. Man, if the mainstream media was bought off by Ramaphosa and his friends, you were never going to get any airtime. You were never going to get any airtime from the mainstream media. The only articles that we're going to get were going to be negative articles. But that is not what is happening in South Africa. And I think the people who are cheering him on, saying that, yeah, yeah, the mainstream media is bought off by Ramaphosa and his friends, are people who are actually not watching the news. Are people who are not actually watching the news because if these people actually watch the news, they would understand that the representatives of MK, they are all over the place in the mainstream media. They are on radio, they are on television. I can bet even today morning, some representative of, of MK was somewhere in the radio today. I can bet today that even on television, you are going to see some, rep some representative of Umke Um Kondo Wesizu. But the people are cheering him still because these people are ignorant. These people are not watching the news. These people are just following the party because the party's leader is Jacob Zoom. And I think, guys, you need to be careful about one thing. You remember last time the IEC said that Jacob Zuma is not going to be allowed to run as the uh, uh, is not going to be allowed to, to 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 actually spearhead mk into the elections mk is not going to put him as their president they are not going to allow jacob zuma to be put as the president of mk going into these elections i think this is actually one thing that mk is going to fight for after this after this court case the mk is going to say that if iec if iec does not backtrack what they said about jacob zuma there's going to be a fight so these people, they want to fight regardless. Isma Khashoula said that there they, they won't be any rigging of the elections. So it is all also telling you that after the elections, these people are going to deny the election results. So there's going to be fight anyway. I told the South Africans man a couple of months ago, I said, guys, you need to buckle up. You need to buckle up because these moves are being made right in front of us. There's no way Isma Khashoula can go and join Um Kondo Wesizwe. And, and the first thing that he says is that there won't be any rigging of the elections because we know how the African National Congress operates. It clearly tells you that these people are gearing up to deny the election results. They are gearing up to deny the election results. So right now, this battle with, Af with African National Congress is just a speed hump. After this battle, what MK is going to fight for? They are going to fight for Jacob Zuma to be put on the ballot. They are going to fight for Jacob Zuma to be the president of MK, to be the leader of MK because IEC said, Jacob Zuma, you can go all over the place being the poster boy of, of MK. It is fine, but we are not going to allow MK to put you as their president. We are not going to allow the MK, the MK to put you as their president when you already have criminal charges. So after this battle, the battle that MK is going to fight is a battle for Jacob Zuma. You can mark my words today. They are going to say that if IEC does not allow President Zuma to, to be our president, then there's going to be a fight. Why? Because MK understands that without Jacob Zuma, they are nothing. The party is nothing without Jacob Zuma. They need Jacob Zuma as the president of the party. That is the only way people are going to vote for them. Now, people are following MK simply because of Jacob Zuma. If Jacob Zuma was not there in that whole MK thing, people were never going to pay attention to this. So if these people go out and say, man, they don't want you to vote for Jacob Zuma. They don't want you to vote for Jacob Zuma to be the president of the country again. The members of the MK, the same members of the MK, they're going to come out swinging and say that, guys, it is time for us to fight. It is time for us to fight. And if they win that battle, <laughs> the next battle that is going to be fought, it is the election results. Because Isma Khashoggi already told you that there won't be any rigging of the elections because they understand how the African National Congress operates. Guys, you need to buckle yourselves. You need to buckle yourselves. You are getting the facts and the truth. So... The 27th of March is when this case is going to happen. And this is my message. Hear me very carefully. This country will be turned into civil war. The day that MK is not allowed. I mean, like, the man is literally instigating violence. The man is literally instigating violence. And he says that the mainstream media is against Um Kondobasis. And the same mainstream media, they give him the platform to still spew out his hatred. He is literally instigating the, viol the violence.
if we lived in a sane country, this man would be behind bars today. If we lived in a sane country, this man would be behind bars today. So guys, I am warning you. I am warning you. I know many people will say that, man, Jacob Zuma need to get the hell out of here. Of course. But do not underestimate the power of Jacob Zuma. Do not underestimate the influence of Jacob Zuma. If people can go out and ransack the malls and destroy the infrastructure because Jacob Zuma was rightly put into jail, can you just imagine what is going to happen if these people, man, if the, if the court, court judgment actually goes against them? Can you understand what is going to happen? Can you understand what is going to happen? Do not underestimate the influence of Jacob Zuma. That is one thing that I can tell you right now. Do not underestimate the, the influence of Jacob Zuma. I am just appalled that there is actually nothing that has been done against this man. If anything, the mainstream media, man, they are giving him more airtime. They are giving him more airtime to threaten South Africans, to tell South Africans that, guys, we are not mincing our words. We are not mincing our words. If the court actually goes against us, there will be civil war in South Africa. He is not backing down. He's not backing down. He's telling you straight that these courts are captured. The courts are captured. You know right now, even Jacob Zuma goes around and says that Ramaphosa threw him to jail. <laughs> he says that Ramaphosa threw him to jail. His supporters believe that. His supporters believe that. You may sit there and say that, man, that is nonsense. But his supporters, they actually believe that. They believe that. The supporters of MK, they believe everything that comes out of the mouth of the leadership of MK. That's why I'm telling you that, guys, do not underestimate their influence. There will be chaos in South Africa before the elections or after the elections. One way or another, there is going to be chaos in South Africa, whether you like it or not. These people are going to deny the election results. They are going to do deny the election results. And I think Isma Khashule has already told you that we are going to, 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 to actually deny the election results because we know how the African National Congress operates. Isma Khashule was then asked, said, man, did you guys rig the elections when you were the Secretary General of the, of the African National Congress? Do you know of any rigging of the elections? And Isma Khashule came out and said, nah, man, you know right now the African National Congress is saying that if people don't vote for us, they are going to lose their social grants. That is pure nonsense. That is pure nonsense. That is not what Isma Khashule said, guys. I, I, why, why is that clip, man? That, that, like, that is pure nonsense. That is pure nonsense. Isma Khashule knew what he wanted to say. He was already railing out his message that, guys, we are not going to accept the election results. We are not going to accept the election results. So these people are telling you that we are not going to listen to the courts. The only time we're going to listen to the courts is when the courts are siding with us. If the courts are against us, then these courts are captured. If these courts are, are, are siding with us, then we know there's a bit of fairness in South African justice system. But if the courts actually go against us, then these courts are, are captured. This is what these people are telling you. And they are telling you in your face. Guys, I, I said it before. There is going to be chaos in South Africa. There's going to be chaos before the elections or there's going to be chaos after the elections. But there is going to be chaos in South Africa. That's why I'm saying <laughs> you need to buckle yourselves up. <laughs> If we go back to the conspiracy, man, you know I love the conspiracy theories, man. There is nothing that I love the conspiracy theories, man. What if this whole thing, it is just a big play for, from the African National Congress and Umkonto Wesizwe to keep the attention between the African National Congress and Umkonto Wesizwe? Guys, you remember when I did that episode where I, I, I was going on and on about conspiracy theories that these people, man, are working together behind closed doors. 
these people are working together behind closed doors and to the public they are acting like they are against each other but after the elections these people are actually going to come and, and, and go into coalition and the African National Congress is still going to run the country after all <laughs> what if this whole thing it is just a big play from Umkondo Osizo and the African National Congress just to keep their names on the mainstream media because guys we have to be honest man ever since Umkondo Osizo arrived ever since Umkondo Osizo emerged no one actually talks about the EFF of course, we talk about the EFF there and there, but people are not engaging about the EFF as much. Right now, the only thing that people are interested in in South Africa, it is this whole thing of MK and, and, and the African National Congress. Everyone is sitting back with their popcorns, watching these people eat each other alive. But what if this whole thing, it is just a big play from the African National Congress and Umkondo Osis? What if it, this thing, it is just a big play from Ramaphosa and Jacob Zoom? Because guys, you need to understand, you remember when Jacob Zuma announced this whole MK thing. He said that he is not trying to destroy the Afghan National Congress. He is trying to renew the Afghan National Congress. He is trying to rescue, rather, the Afghan National Congress. I am not going, I'm not destroying the Afghan National Congress. I want to rescue the Afghan National Congress. So what if they are, this is their way of actually rescuing the Afghan National Congress? Because these people, when they sit back, they can see that man, the Afghan National Congress has lost a lot of support. But we have someone who is still popular within the Afghan National Congress. And that person is Jacob Zoom. Until today, the Afghan National Congress has never expelled Jacob Zoom. They only suspended him. Man, we know that is just a slap on the wrist. They only suspend, they suspended him. They, they did not actually expel Jacob Zoom. What if this whole thing it is just a play from the African National Congress and the Af and 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 and, and um -Kondo -Sizu? <laughs> Ah, Thomas, you love conspiracy theorists. There is no way these people are working together. I'm just asking. What if? What if? What if? What if we get so, we we get so riled up to a point that we think it actually these people hate each other? <laughs> Guys, so please tell me what you think. If you're not in the comment section, don't forget to hit that like button. And the most important part is subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> My name is Thomas Wabasa. So I will see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>